Houston Nut Show. Jones out of the shotgun again. Hand off to Tally. Tally cuts back inside. Tally at midfield. Down at the 40-yard line of LSU. Tally at the 30. Gets a block at the 20. Tally at the 15. The 10. Touchdown! Arkansas! Jones throwing deep downfield. He's got Richard Smith complete at the 31-yard line. Unbelievable. Jones back in the shotgun. The line of scrimmage, the 31-yard line of LSU. There's the snap. Jones looking. Jones now throwing to the end zone, and it is complete! A yeah. touchdown! <laughs> oh, my! I can't believe it! DeCorey 31 Birmingham. yards to DeCorey Birmingham in the back of the end zone. This is a 35-yard extra point. Loggins will hold. Carlton will kick it. It is on the way, and it is up. It is... Good! Oh, my! Arkansas is headed to Atlanta. With nine seconds left to play. Randall, who's back in the end zone. Randall is oh. hit and loses the football. It's picked up now. Now it's lateral, not a scrum. Jacoby makes the stop. Flags are down. There's no time left. And the Razorbacks storm the field, and Arkansas has come from behind to beat LSU 714 says, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Hey, 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 hey where's my shirt at? <laughs> Where's David Carlson? David! I didn't want to go to overtime. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas, I'm telling y'all, man. That right there, when you don't give up, you're going to take this with you for the rest of your life, man. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Offense, defense, special team, played whole 60 minutes. You don't ever quit. <laughs> Fellas, let's get our nice shirt. Here's what I want you I really want you to be humble. Woo! Listen to me. I want you to be real humble when the reporters come in. Hey, guys, that's a great team, man. Y'all beat a good football team in the Rock. Hey, praise the fans. They would not let you lose. They would not. They would not let you lose. They will. Right, right, right. Hey, guys, where's Coach Broyles at, Lewis? Coach Campbell. He in here. Get them, get them ripped. Where's Derek Gray? There you go, right there.
I feel rather smug as I sit beside the head coach uh, of the Western Division champions uh, headed to Atlanta for an SEC championship. Congratulations, cool. Houston. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And I, I like the way you say that. It sounds great. But those players, I didn't, I didn't make one blocker tackle. You see that locker room. That's what you live for, that celebrated locker room. All those coaches, all the staff, the players ready to go. And, boy, there's nothing like it. And they'll never forget. They'll never forget this night. It appeared, you know, you don't give up for 60 minutes. You can't give up. You know, that's the one thing I, th I feel like this, this game teaches these young men, that it's, the, it's one of the greatest teachers there is. You're going to get knocked down, and you're going to get knocked down, and you're going to think, you know, you just can't take another step, and you just can't make it. But it's 17 to 7. You know, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people would say, hey, boy, you're not going to make it. You're not going to win. But these kids, they, they refuse to lose, refuse to give up, and just keep pecking, just keep going, and that's what it's about. Houston, you grew up in the shadows of War Memorial Stadium. The Razorbacks meant so much to you growing up. You came back as head coach. Now 14 and 0 mm -hmm. in this facility where we tape your show on Saturday. It's just this is an awesome place. I love Fayetteville Stadium. Coach Boyle has done a great job with our facilities there. We've got to have it for recruiting. This is a special place too, and uh, the the crowd. We've never been met like this. I was so scared. We're going to use our energy on the way in. <laughs> uh, the fans were out on the streets banging on the bus to let us know that they were ready. Uh, when our players got to the dressing room, they were so hyped up, I was afraid we were going to lose all of our energy right there because they were so excited about the greeting and the welcome that we had. There were people lined up uh, along the interstate asking for tickets. One, two, three, four, it's the hardest ticket I can remember. I know it. it for, for a long, I think since really 1975, uh, you know, when I, I, I witnessed that game right here against Texas A&M when uh, Coach Bowles and that group won that game. So this was a special, special night and uh, just an unbelievable team effort by everyone. It is incredible, and we'll be back with Coach to take a look at how it all came out and happened in just a moment. And a marvelous day to play football. It was a beautiful day. You know, a little bit of you know wind that was a factor with our punting and kicking game, but overall it was a, a gorgeous, gorgeous day. LSU wins the coin toss and they opt to see you on offense first of all. They're going to put that number three rated defense in America out there, and I'll tell you what, they're huge. Uh, you can tell right here the atmosphere is wonderful. Uh, the fans are into every play, and I'll tell you, our players were ready. There's the Burlesworth kids, and Always glad to see, see those guys. There is something unique about this stadium that uh, the noise, you know, the way it permeates throughout uh, the whole area. You're exactly right, Paul. Had a wind to their back, so this ball really carries well. This, this, this is way out of the end zone. That's a good decision by DeCorey. We're going to come out sprinting. And or we just we got to catch that ball right there, Richard. We drop it. We just our passing game wasn't really on. The wind affected us a little bit, but I thought all fits line was really doing a good job of just hammering away, hammer away. Here's Matt on the keeper. This is a good run because it gets us a first down. Mm -hmm. You get a couple of first downs on this possession to get good field position. I, you, I thought it was an excellent start. Here's a good hole right here by Mark Pierce on the right side with Jason Peters and Sean Andrews. Boy, there he goes. Fred will seem like always one step away. And I tell you, that defensive line, uh, Paul, six foot six, six seven, six five, just phenomenal athlete. Huge. There's Mark Pierce right there up the middle. Come back again. Nothing there. And we don't have the corner block, and we're forced to punt. Good snap by. Old reliable oh, Chuck Nally. I tell you, Chuck Nally and the guys did a great job all day long. Good coverage right there by our punt team. There's Jamar Gallon. And now they're on offense. And they're a dangerous, dangerous group. Thought our defense came out playing extremely hard. They get the bootleg pass on us, and that's a dangerous receiver, but that's a great tackle by Kenny Hamlin from Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Good tackle again. They come back with a quick screen, and we get cracked, and Eddie Jackson from Mesquite has to make this tackle. I'm sorry, from Richardson, Texas. 
That's a good tackle by Clark Moore and Tony Bua, and these guys are running to the ball now. Oh, Kenny. Wow. Kenny was looking at the sideline right there, Paul, because he had a, a, a convoy in front of him, mm -hmm. and he might have scored on this play. Here it is again. That's good camera work. Oh, no, this is the tunnel screen. Oh, this guy, you're talking about fast now. This guy can fly. And they hit the tunnel screen, and it was third and 20, and it just takes the air out of us. Yeah, really did. So it's 7 to nothing, LSU. You know, they came into this game ranked, I think, 104th throwing the football, and they were very effective. Very effective, very effective. Good job of scrambling right here by Matt. And when he wants to, he can turn the motor on, and that's a good run right there. I thought he got hit out of bounds right there. Mm -hmm. They don't call it. We run a little sweet play. Well, it's a bad-looking ball right there. The win, and just the throw. I think the ball slipped out of his hand. I thought Richard might have made the catch right there. But that's an outstanding catch because the ball was really wobbly. Oh, good pitch. Great effort right there by Mark. And he always oh, tries to dive. And I tell you, I right now I feel like i got to make the first down. So it's fourth and inches. We go for it. Go for it. Right. Good job by Matt. That's a great crowd, wasn't it, Paul? It sure was, Coach. Here's Cedric Cobbs. Makes a good hard run for five yards behind Sean Andrews from Camden, Arkansas. We come back on the sprint out. Boy, he sees he just overthrows. He's not quite ready to throw the inside route to DeCorey. We come back with a draw, and we hit it outside, and there's not, not, not any place to run. Houston is a quarterback with a win. How tough is it to throw into the win? Well, the way it was gusting up to 25 miles an hour, it was pretty hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard, but uh, you just got to throw through it and try not to let it affect you, but it really it bothered Matt early on. Good tackle by Justin Scott from Gosnell, Arkansas, and Jeb Huckabee from Searcy. And this is a dangerous running back. This is Tofield. Good coverage, Lawrence Richardson. Mm -hmm. Great job. I tell you what, I, I thought our defense hung in there. Almost blocked. We went after a couple punts. There's the core, and that's a great return. Good job right there. Now we got it to the 50. Almost sides on that play, and that really, boy, it hurts us. You it keeps them lined up offside. It keeps them alive. Yeah, it does. Great stop by Caleb Miller and Tony Bua. Play action. This guy's dangerous because he can run, throws the deep. This is well covered. Nobody's open. He has to throw it away. Good tackle right there by Lawrence Richardson. So that's the end of the first quarter. You started the game today and had to play it without Batman oh, Carroll. That hurt. That hurt because you, you lose one of the fastest corners in the league, mm -hmm. and now you're just holding your breath. You don't want anybody else to get hurt. All right, Houston, 7 to nothing. LSU back with the second quarter in just a moment. With the exception of the tunnel screen, a seven to nothing ball game, you can see we're settling in for a heavyweight fight. Oh, it is. It really is. And I thought our defense was hanging in there with that big offensive line. Uh, they're over six foot four, six foot five, three twenty plus. <laughs> and our guys, you know, it just seems like they're, you can't even find our guys sometimes because they're so much bigger. But, boy, they, we're running the ball. We're stopping the run very well. But we just gave up the tunnel screen. That's really all we give up in the first half. Mm -hmm. We begin the second quarter. LSU will punt the football away to the Hogs. Donnie Jones, a 47-yarder to the Arkansas 13. But LSU is penalized. Tell you what, there's a left-footed kicker sometimes can be a problem. This is a great job by DeCoy Burning here. He's just getting better and better at punt returning. He's doing a great job for us. Come back with the fake the radar, throwing the pass. Good decision by Matt. Great effort right there by Richard Smith to get the first down. Excellent run. He's following his block and well. There's Dan Doty and Mark Pierce. Good job. And now Cedric, this is going to be about a 17-play drive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long yeah. drive. We just don't get any points out of it. Good job on fourth and inches to get the first. 
Yeah, you start at 14.45 and give up the football with 8.10 left in the half. Right. We tried a little crack and go and fake the tunnel screen and give it to Big Peters, but they didn't bite on it. Good hard running right there. Get that first red. Good job. Good first down. And now Darius Howard in West Memphis. He's finding his hole, and boy, he's a strong guy, and, and we're starting to get a feel for it now. Guys are coming off the ball. That's good blocking by Nathan Ball from Rogers. And look at Darius' leg drive right there, Paul. Hit the guy can squat over 500 pounds, and he is strong. Just a strong man. Mm -hmm. With these linebackers, it's really more of a Darius Cedric Cobbs kind of game because they're not going to let you get wide. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to come right at them, and we're using Darius and Cedric. There's Darius. Just trying to, we just want to pound him a little bit. Come back, good cut. Keep turning. You're, you're, in, you're about second and five. Oh, keep your feet. Mm. If he bounces that and keeps his feet, he's out the gate. Yep. Good hard run again. You talked about linebackers, that Brady James is something else too for LSU coach. The right. Brady, Brady James is a, a big time all ACC type linebacker. This play comes in wrong and Boy, we don't get it called right, and we've got to throw this ball away. We're trying to make something happen because we needed at least three points right there to make it 7-3. That, that was a costly error. Just throw it away. Just throw it away right there. It's third down. We're going to get three points out of it. This is what he's gotten better at the last three weeks, and I was surprised he made this throw. And he can do it. Good job right there by Jeff Huckabee, Purvis Osborne from Bearden. And this guy, these backs can run, and I, I just like the way we're running to the football mm -hmm. right now. Good job, Jeb. Good coverage. So LSU kicks the uh, football away, a 34-yarder in Birmingham. Does a great job of holding on to it that's again. Just, that's just outstanding effort right there, falling forward. We try to throw the throw back to the Dedrick Pool, and they get it. Good good job right there. And thought we got interfered with just to get rid of this ball. Mm -hmm. There's Fred, and there's nothing there. Glad he didn't pitch that one. These guys can run sideways in a hurry now. Good pump protection. This group did an outstanding job, and boy, he fakes us right there. Now at least we got him pinned in inside the 10-yard line. He's dangerous tackling. That's Clayton. Here's Randall. That's a hard hit right there by Eddie Jackson. Dominic Davis. He has such legs to look at him turn and twist sideways and. His legs never stopped going either. Oh, wrap up. We had him in the backfield. Mm. Had him in the backfield. He turns a minus two into a 15-yard game. They come back with the short hitch. Now they're empty. This drive hurt a little bit because they, they dinked away, dinked away at the clock. Did a good job with clock management. Thought we were going to intercept that. Now they're on the 20. They're going to get called for a holding. Oh, this guy is scary. Mm -hmm. He is really scary. Yep. Good tackle right there by Bo Mosley from Osceola. Great job. Force him to a field goal against the wind. Against the wind, Paul, and he makes it. It's a 48 yarder. Yeah, I yeah. thought that's not going to get to the crossbar, coach. So that was the only really thing disappointing right there where if they get an extra three, it's 10 to nothing. We give up a chance for seven or three by not executing, getting the play in right. But again, after all that, you're still just down 10 to nothing. All right, we'll be back with Houston and much more to come from War Memorial Stadium in just a moment.
talk, if you would, Houston, about what you're doing at uh, the halftime in the dressing room. Trying to make a couple adjustments. Uh, trying to get the. We've got to score on offense, so we put in a couple of things. You're going to see one. We fake an isolation play and throw a one-on-one -on -one route to George Wilson on, mm -hmm. a, on a slant because they're crowding the line of scrimmage. We've got to take advantage of mixing some things up and getting the ball to Richard, George, and Jason Peters. So we tried to come in and do that, and then we decided, hey, we're going to draw, we're going to run option, get that ball to, uh, again, the Fred Talley. You can't give up on it. You know, you're going to see a lot of plays where it might not go but one or two, but that's a great defense. But you never know when he can take it the distance. We kick off to him. Good tackle by Eddie Jackson. They come out on the bootleg. This guy's extremely fast, and that's a good job right there running him down. We thought he fumbled, but he didn't. Second and three. Great tackle coming off the edge right there by uh, Elliot Harris from Mariana. Mm. Oh, almost intercepted. And we force him to punt, and that's a good stop. Three and out on the very first series is a great job. Hang on to court. I tell you, he has nerves to steal, doesn't he? <laughs> he sure does. I mean, this guy is catching the ball and doing a great job. So proud of DeCorey, what he's done for us since Marvin Jackson went down. Great job escaping. Get rid of it. That's, that's what you want. Just throw it away. We get a face mask on. It's first and five. Not much there. Here it is. Now we, we got this at halftime. This is a good call by David Terrific. Lee. Put this in at halftime. We fake the fake the isolation and throw it to George. Big, big play. We needed that. Here it is again. It looks like run. And now you got it one-on-one. -on -one. Great job, George. 35 yards. 35 yards, and we needed that big play. Brings the crowd back into the ball game. Brings everybody back into it. They're going to run right at him. There's Big Diarius running hard and strong. You run right at him, and then it makes the option more successful, it, doesn't it? It does. It does. It sure does. And, and, and it keeps him off balance a little bit. Trying to push that pile back. That's Dan Doty and Jared Hicks. Nathan Ball. And just trying to let a big back run. We're getting close now. We're getting real close. Well, I thought we scored right there, mm -hmm. but they don't give it to us. So now it's coming down to fourth down. Is it third down, Paul? Uh, it is uh, third down. No. Yeah, I think it is. That's it's fourth down. Yeah. Mark Pierce gets the touchdown. Great. That's a great push on the right side by Mark Bokerman from St. Louis and uh, Big Sean and Jason. Now you're back in it in your crowd. Boy, they're back in it. That drive started with 13.03 left in the quarter, and you used up clock time all the way down to eight and a half minutes. Good. Needed it. Keep those guys on the sideline. He'll bring it out. Dominique Davis will bring it out. We told our guys all week long, and I'm glad he did. That's in the 10-11 yard line. That's great coverage. Yeah, he is fast as lightning. Yes, he got held right there. But uh, that's a great run right there by their speedster. Skyler Green. They come back and throw the post route, and Lawrence is right there. And I don't know how Clayton catches this. He catches it right there on top of us. Mm. Boy, wrap him up. Caleb is breaking that first tackle, and that's what great backs do, and that's a good stop again. You see Elliot Harris and Clark Moore and Caleb Miller in there. They try to run the shuffle pass. They fake it, and he gets in there. And, boy, this is when we get down a little bit because that was a great answer to our score. Whenever you answer, it sends a message back to us. Hey, look, we're here. We, we can score on you. Now it's 17-7. There's Cedric on the return. Don't get much with the 20-yard line. had this wide over, hits him right in the hands. Make that catch, George. That'd been a big first down for us. Yeah, he just take, takes his eye off of it a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. 
You just never know. I, you know, that doesn't look like much right there, Paul, but you cannot give up on, on Fred Talley. No. No way. And we're going to see later on in the game why you don't give up on him. Butler's punt, 40 yards. Great tackle right there. And we feel like we got the ball. I think Raymond House from Little Rock recovers it, and they give it to us. Yep. Great hit right there by, I believe, by Jeff Huckabee. Jeff Huckabee did. Mm -hmm. Great job, Raymond. Our defense is playing so well for this team that has that much talent on the other side. We come back and go try to go right at them. And we get a bad snap right here. Well, actually, we get a good snap, but he doesn't snap it on time. He snaps it early, and, and nobody moves but Matt. Hurt right there. Mm. That, that could have been a little no, while. We, we, we needed it. He faked us out right there, and the ball goes in the end zone. But it's 17 to 7, and boy, just when they answer, that's when, boy, you, you lose a little bit of confidence. But we're, we're keeping our sideline going, and I tell you, Raymond House makes a play like that. Our seniors have done a great job all throughout the year of just keeping our team going. All right, Coach. We'll be back with the final quarter in just a moment. Thanks to Terry Eustace, the Hogman's Hog Pen, for all of the uh, decorations, the Razorback memorabilia, as we tape Houston show on Saturday from War Memorial Stadium in uh, Little Rock. And, uh, Coach, as we move into the fourth quarter, we talked about the option. One of the big runs before Fred Talley is an option with the fullback Mark Pierce for about 20 yards. They didn't expect it. When you have two backs in the backfield, they key on Fred, they key on Cedric, they key on Diarius. And so we faked it to Fred on an option play and you come out and you pitch it to Mark who has great hands. Uh, I tell you that's a little bit different mix for him and I think it really helped us helped us move the ball. You'll see some great highlights here in the uh, final quarter. Here it is. Great run. Great run. Great run by Fred. And look at the receiving. Great effort right there by George to get an RBI. That's an RBI right there. That's just great effort. 56 yards for the touchdown. He follows his block, and that's a great block by Sean. Look at uh, Sparky Hamilton from Lufkin, Mark Volkerman. Now, George, right there, will try to, right there, cut. Mm. That's, I tell you what, this helped us so much. Great run by Fred. Yeah, it's a new ball game now, 17-14. Brand new ball game. Our crowd's back into it. Six minutes and a, six and a half minutes left. LSU drives down the field, uh, really used an awful lot of clock, kicked the field goal, and uh, now it's 20 to 14. Now here's, here's the miracle on Markham now. Here we go. <laughs> kick it to us. There's the Corey, not much room. We're, we got 80 yards to go. We're going to try to run the, what we call Big Ben, which is an out route. But Richard Smith gets behind him and gets us across the 50, and he's telling everybody to hurry up here. He's trying to throw to George Wilson, but they leave him alone, and look here. Wow. Great catch, and we're on about the, what, 32? 31, uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Here it is again. Great protection. Big catch by Richard Smith from Shreveport, Louisiana, and he's telling everybody, come on. You see Dan Doty and everybody sprinting to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, only nine seconds left to go. Nine seconds left, and the Corey Birmingham gets behind, and it's just an unbelievable catch. I'll tell you what, that was really well covered as we look at it on it, It's tape. well covered, but look at the ball. The ball's thrown perfectly. Mm. And, I mean, he goes up and times it up just right, right before 21. The defensive back gets there, and it, it, it's a big play. Great protection. He has plenty of time. There's Sean, and... Guys giving him time to throw it. Great job. Great job. Now, there'll be a flag for, uh, I tell you, that, that's celebration. Much too much celebrating. And this, they're trying to let him know how much they appreciate him. 
but I was scared to death and almost got sick right here, Paul, because this is 35 yards now, and I don't want to go to overtime. No, <laughs> you don't want another overtime this season. Great job by Chuck Nally, David Carlton, the holder, dial log it deep. Edge. He wow. causes the fumble with the speed. They forward lateral the ball. It doesn't make any difference. That game is over. Great play by Brandon Holmes. I know that uh, Coach Saban can't believe what happened after I tell you, control of his football. Coach game. Saban said a real class thing after the game. And uh, I would just, I would have, um, our kids deserve to win. And so I appreciate what he said. Amazing day throwing the football. Matt, four out of 16 with one interception. But those last two, Coach, will go down as two of the most memorable in Razorback history. Absolutely. And I tell you what, that right there uh, is just, it's special. It's really special. Post remain intact. <laughs> Some reaction from the dressing room in just a moment. <laughs> Thank you, Chicken, an Arkansas tradition since 1947. <laughs> Matt Jones, Kenny Hamlin, Fred Talley, DeCorey Birmingham, and Tony Bua, just a few of the heroes from Saturday's victory over LSU. Well, our play wasn't even designed to go to Richard, and, uh, and they, they let him get behind him. I just threw it as far as I could, and if I could have thrown it about 10 more yards farther, we score on that play. And, uh, but everything worked out, you know, just like to thank the Lord. Coach Nutt said uh, about two or three weeks ago, you know, an angel had been sent to us, and I really believe that. I really believe that, you know, the Lord, he's the only reason we won this game. What about the play to, to Corey? Unbelievable catch. He's an athlete. Uh, I mean, what can you say? He just made a great catch. I just try to throw it up. and. <laughs> and he's just an athlete, great athlete. Well, I probably could compare this to the seven overtime one, but it didn't have the implication that this one had. So, I mean, this, I mean, this is, this is a great experience right here. What about uh, where you go next? Oh, well, I mean, we got to play a great team in, in, in Georgia and uh, got to go to Atlanta. And I'm, I'm just glad to have the opportunity to go to Atlanta playing the SEC championship. And uh, I'm going to soak this in. I still really just, it just haven't hit me just yet. But, I mean, once I soak this in, celebrate a little bit and get ready for work. It was a uh, total team effort. You know, um, all 11 people, we was all on one accord. And um, it was mostly done by the backside, you know, because um, the play was uh, away from us and uh, had time to string it out and then cut back. And, I mean, the backside, they just keep fighting their good side and cutting their man off and just gave me a chance to, you know, get downfield. And then Nate Ball, Sparky Hamilton, and George Wilson, you know, those guys were down there kind of guided me to the end zone. I mean, they made it a lot easier. Well, the play, <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, <laughs> It was just a, a regular old post play, you know. We were trying to go for the end zone, you know. If not the end zone, then make something happen to get some good yards and get out of bounds. But, you know, Matt made a great throw, you know, back behind the defender, and I just jumped up and caught it. Never, never have. And it's just it's a credit to this team and a credit to this coaching staff. And uh, it just goes to show you what happens when, when 80 men and, and the whole coaching staff come together and believe in each other and sweat for each other. And, and they have a never, never say die attitude. It's just unbelievable. And it's an unbelievable feeling uh, to be able to celebrate with my teammates. Tony Bua grew up uh, maybe hoping to be uh, an LSU Bengal Tiger, but he is so happy and proud to be a Razorback. And I'm glad he's a Razorback yeah. because I tell you, he has the heart of a Razorback. What a fighter. Not very big, but he has a great big heart. All of those guys that you interviewed, Matt Jones, uh, DeCoy Birmingham, so many heroes all along that sideline, but it's team, and they keep talking about team, team, team. They're unselfish, Paul, and uh, they deserve to be Western Conference champions. Fred Talley, with that long run, went over 1,000 yards for the season. Coach. i tell you what's, what's great. I'm glad you brought that up, Paul, because that is a feat in itself. That, that credit goes to the offensive line. Uh, Fred does a great job with vision, but I've never been around where uh, one season where backs did not fumble one time. Mm, I, I think great. that is a mirror. I mean, that's just awesome. And Danny deserves a lot of credit. All of the backs, Mark Pierce, Cedric Cobbs, Darius Howard, Fred Talley, uh, Kyle Dickerson, Dedrick Poole, all of those guys deserve so much along with that offensive line. Well, and you came into this game, and we'll go into the championship game leading the nation in uh, turnover. 
that's wh that's why we're in this spot. I believe that we take care of the ball. Uh, our defense creates turnovers for us, mm -hmm. and if we just keep throwing the ball away when nobody's open, if Matta keep doing that and the backs keep taking care of the ball, we got a chance to put some points on the board. All right, Coach. Uh, we salute the Burles kids again this week, sponsored this week by the Delta Razorback Club. The Burles kid of the week, Brandon Baker, a fifth grader out of McGee Elementary School. This is my first Arkansas Razorback game, and my favorite players are Matt. Our thanks again to Terry Eustace, the owner of Hogman's Hogpen, for all of the Razorback memorabilia and decorating the set for the Houston Nut Show. Mike Markison has done such a great job with the offensive line for you, hasn't he, Coach? Paul, he has done an outstanding job. I just appreciate his effort. Uh, he has helped these guys get better fundamentally. Uh, he believes in them. He's getting he's get some better every single game, and I just see improved. The last five to six weeks, I just see holes and you know against very good defenses. So I've been real proud of him. Well, the Hogs ran the shoe front, and Mike Markerson had a smile on his face after the ball game on Friday. Coach, have you ever been around a team quite like this one? No, not with all the adversity we've had this year. No, it's unbelievable because uh, Tennessee overtime loss, a big win at Auburn, come home and lose to a con good Kentucky team, but just kind of and all that stuff that we had off the field and then just the way these kids have just kept persevering and Houston's done a great, that's what he's best at, is keeping them going and uh, you gotta give it to our players, they never quit today. You always, as a coach, teach players never to let go of the rope, never to quit, never but to quit. they really never did it today. They didn't, I mean, and it just tells you, the end of the game there, we complete one pass and all of a sudden a big catch and you get it down in their end with some time left and, and you know you have an opportunity to throw it in the end zone and look what happens, I mean, you just, the game is six minutes and you got to play it to the full 60 minutes and that's exactly what happened today we've uh, talked so much about Jason Peters and Sean Andrews and the right side of the offensive line but that left side really came along this year didn't it Bo Lacey from Newport did an I mean he's had an outstanding year and if you look at his grades and how he graded he has knockdowns and he gets out he's a tough tough young man and I tell you what he just uh, does so much for our football team a great leader force been real pr proud of Mark Bokerman Mark Bokerman uh, Jerry Wright mm -hmm. I tell you Dan Doty all of these guys have just gotten better and better and better. All right, Coach, more to come on the Houston Nuts Show in just a moment. I don't think there's any question about the play or the two big plays of this game, Coach. Unbelievable. We were going to run a, what we call Big Ben, where Richard Smith's going to clear and George Wilson's going to run a 20-yard out. Lo and behold, they jump on the 20-yard out, and Richard gets behind them. And if the, really, if the ball's thrown five or ten more yards a little further, that's a, that's touchdown. a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, that's a touchdown. So, But I'm glad Richard caught it, and I'm glad Matt threw it just the way he did. Gets us to about the 30. When you're on your own 20, here it is. Graper, there's Mark Bokerman. There's Sean Andrews. There's Fred. They jump on the out route, and look, there's Richard. And we change ends of the field, one to 31, mm -hmm. and he's telling everybody, hurry, hurry. And everybody's sprinting down to get on the ball because there's a time problem, no timeouts. We take one shot at the end zone, the first one we, we miss, and we come back and run triple post, X drag, and there he is. And it's just a beautiful sight, great ball, and an unbelievable catch by the Corey Birmingham. There's the teammates. Mm. One that be remembered for a long, long time, and certainly by all of us as we head to Atlanta to meet the Georgia Bulldogs. Back to wrap it up and a look ahead with Houston in just a moment. Houston, one full day, maybe a day and a half to enjoy what took place in Little Rock. I tell you what, it was an awesome, awesome victory. SEC Western champions. <clears throat> But I tell you what, uh, there's, we got a great opportunity to go play in the championship game. And um, this has been our goal since August. And what our guys have gone through, they'll never forget. And this is what you love about football. Uh, you've, you've had some good times, some bad times. But this is a great, great time that ended in Little Rock. And now to give you a chance to play one more ball game. And against a number five team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Playing a great football team, our players, LSU, yesterday. But right now, hey. Let's go and play in a championship game. Great to be with you. I'm so happy for you, the staff, and the football team, hey. Houston, and see you in Atlanta. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for being with us. Good night, everyone.
Boost and Nuts Wardrobe by Dillard's. Marketing by Sports Shows Incorporated.